Hey guys, welcome back to Jay's Openings. Appreciate you all stopping by on a Saturday afternoon. Kind of do a little, uh, a, a new video for me today. Um, I went to this um, sports card show uh, this morning, um, picked up some few items, and I've got some mail that I'd like to share with you guys from a uh, few trades that I've made and a uh, couple friends of the channel. So uh, without further ado, let's go through this stuff that I got for you. Uh, first off, you'll see here I picked up uh, the 1987 Sports Flicks Rookies uh, Set 1. Uh, this does have the Maguire in it. Um, unfortunately, after checking um, through my Maguire checklist, I found out that I currently already have this one. Um, but that's all right. You know, it also has Fred McGriff, uh, Paul O'Neill, who had a pretty good career. Uh, Benito Santiago, the 87 NL Rookie of the Year, um, Matt Williams, and, you know, Mike Greenwell, and guys like that. So, now, for the buck fifty, couldn't really pass on it. Next thing I picked up was the 1989 The Rookies uh, from Donruss. Um, it... When I first opened it, it did appear to be um, sealed still in cellophane, but a little bit more that I looked at it, I come to find out that uh, it wasn't, but it's still complete. So, you know, you get guys like Gary Sheffield. There's the Griffey Jr. Uh, rookie, Deion Sanders, uh, Edgar Martinez, even though his rookie's in 88. Uh, Joe Girardi, new manager um, of the Phillies. Let's see here, who else real quick through here. Uh, the big unit, Randy Johnson, Hall of Famer. Uh, Pedro's brother, Ramon. Omar Vizquel, who I think will soon be a Hall of Famer. So that was a nice little pickup. You know, couldn't really, you know, beat, beat the price that... I paid for that one, and also I was able to find the 87 Donruss Rookies, um, little subset. So, you know, right on top is the, the Mark McGuire, flipping through real quick, you know, Mike Greenwell, Ellis Burks, uh, Matt Noakes, there is the, the Bo Jackson, Billy Ripken, See here, who else? Terry Steinbach. There's the Fred McGriff, even though his actual actual rookie card is 86 Donruss. He's got a rated rookie card in that year. David Cohn, good pitcher for a um, long period of time. Uh, there's the Benito Santiago again. Matt Williams. Palmero. The Greg Maddox. And then the checklist. So, again, another set that really just couldn't pass on the price. So, I went ahead and picked it up. Next item you'll see here in the back. Uh, I've actually never seen these things anywhere. Uh, it's the Topps 88 Gallery of Champions. It was a 12 car or 12 piece set that were all aluminum made um, replica cards. So on the back you'll see here where they, they highlighted all of the major award winners from 87. So you've got you know Tony Gwynn, Wade Boggs who were the batting champions. Dawson and McGuire were the home run champions in their respective leagues. Firemen or closers, Bedrosi and Rigetti. Cy Young's, Clemens, Bedrosian, um, 87 MVPs, Rookie of the Years, Strikeout Kings, and Slugging Leaders. So you'll see McGuire's listed one, two, three, three times, but he's only got one card in there. So, like I said, this was actually a piece that I really don't ever have seen out there anywhere. So, for the for the price that I picked it up at I couldn't pass on it plus I actually don't have the Maguire piece in this 
for my Maguire collection. So that was another nice little pickup. And you'll see that I did pick up some Junk Wax um, 91 Score Series 2, which we'll open up on the channel here uh, one of these days. Um, odds are trying, trying to find the Mickey Mantle card, uh, autograph cards and stuff like that in here. So that was another pickup. Also was able to find the iconic 87 tops. Uh, was mostly sealed. That actually tore when I was taking it out of the bag. So now this might be a, uh, a turn back clock Tuesday uh, box with, you know, you got Ricky and Jim Rice on the sides there. You know, Wade Boggs and Gary Carter, Dave Rigetti. They grace the box. So again, very rarely do I find these things sealed out at shows. So I thought, yeah, what the heck? Might as well go ahead and pick it up. I did find some singles as well. Um, 18 update Juan Soto. I was able to find two of them. Um, his cards are just going to continue to increase in price. Um, the 76 Robin Yount. Um, I'll show you why I picked this one up here in a minute. Very well centered, very sharp looking card, especially for the seven for a 76. And then a plethora of Barry Bonds rookie cards, 87 Donruss, 87 Fleer, 86 Tops Traded, 86 uh, Fleer Update. Don't find this one out there very often. And then I picked up a 71 Rookies of Mike Davis and George Foster. Uh, Foster went on to have a, a pretty good career, so... It's actually really sharp in a 71. Corners are sharp. Um, really nice, clean card. So I figured, yeah, what the heck. So the last thing that I did pick up at the show, this guy had the, this binder here. And it was a 1976 and tops traded um, set. Unfortunately, what he had done was is he had pulled out a majority of the major cards in the set. So it's I I don't know exactly who's all missing. I know the Eckersley rookie card is not in here. The Robin Yount was not in here. Um, the Nolan Ryan was not in here. Um, but for 50 bucks, I went through quickly and I counted up how many of the cards I was missing. And I'm only missing like 21 cards out of it. So easy, it should be pretty easy to, um, to, to complete the set, find the cards that I need. And then I'll have my first, and I'm just knocking everything over in here. I'll have my first 19 uh, prior to 1980 set is as you know everybody knows that I do collect sets and I'm a I'm a big set builder so working on getting sets at uh, prior to 1980 any chance I'm able to find a, you know a good size lot or something like that I'm gonna pick them up so so now we're gonna go through some mail this was a piece that I uh, made a trade with a guy on Facebook with. Um, you'll see it is the 2020 um, 1985 Relic Black Bordered Mark McGuire, numbered 176 out of 199. Uh, he had it on there and was posting that he wanted to trade it, and I asked him exactly what he was looking for. He told me. So... I pulled it off. Next package here was from another guy that um, I made a trade for. He was he posted what he was posting that he was trying to get rid of. Actually, were the the 1992 Tops Micros. He bought a set and was breaking it to trade away the the stars and 
prospects and stuff like that. So needing the Maguire out of it, I went ahead and I messaged him. I'd made a trade with him before for the 91 micros. Um, told him that I'm interested in the Cal Ripkins and the Chipper Jones and the Maguire. So we pulled off the trade. And then as, after I was talking to him a little bit more, he asked me, he goes, well, I've got plenty of other guys of Maguire, Jones, and Ripken. Would you be interested in any other cards? I said, well, shoot me off what you got and let's take a look. So he sent me his list of Maguire. And as you know, a lot of guys know, my Maguire collection is, is pretty thorough. But he did happen to find, I did happen to find four, four cards that he had listed that I didn't have. One of them was the 98 Tops Finest. This one is the 1990 Tops All Star insert set. Um, 90, I believe this is 97 Pinnacle Express Peak Performers. And a an Pinnacle Inside 97 um, Base Mark McGuire. So I was able to pick those up for the PC. And then I also went ahead and I picked up um, basically all of the Cal Ripkins that he had for for ripping because I know um, you know he's a big Ripken collector. So and one of the things that you know him and I are doing together is um, trying to piece together certain cards that we both know we don't have. And one of them was the little mini 86 Fleer card right there. And then I know he didn't have the two micros and the, the Chipper Jones because he also PCs Chipper. So I went ahead and I pulled off the trade for all of, you know, his Ripkins, his Chippers. On majority of these, I know, you know, that Corey probably already does have. But this is one of the ones that really piqued my, my interest when I saw it was the 86 tops and judging by, and I asked him to send me another picture of it because Corey likes to send off all of his Ripkins. He wants them all in at least a PSA nine, you know, obviously everybody wants a gym mint 10. But when I saw this one, this card here is very hard to grade, obviously because of the black borders on here. And when I saw it, I asked him to send me a better picture of it because this card is very clean. Back is is a little off centered, um, but for an '86, this one was in this one was in very good condition. So I had him send that one to me, and then you know those were all the Ripkins, and then we get into Chipper. He didn't have a whole lot of Chipper, which was okay. Um, We'll work on it and we'll we'll get it going. But there was some pretty sweet looking chipper cards in this set, so in the package. So I told him I said, "Let's go ahead and send them to me, and you know I'll take them from there." Next pack. Next package we have is from Sports Cards Collectors Big Mike out of. Uh, he's got a YouTube channel. He's you know become a real good friend of the channel as well, and him and I have done a few through the mail trades so he knows that I PC uh, McGuire Frank Thomas Yachty guys like that so he sent me nice little care package as well obviously I opened it up because I you know I'm impatient so was going through the some of the McGuire cards that you know he had sent me and I did end up finding about about nine or ten of that I did not have. And a lot of these were these 88, 89 top stickers. You know, because there's so many different variations to all of these that it's it's nice to be able to find other guys that have them and you know they're willing to, to trade for them. So there's a score complete players, Maguire, Star Quest singles, um, 2000 Pacific Online. Uh, 98 score checklist. Then he also sent 
some Yachty Ace for me. There's another Maguire hologram Denny's that I didn't have. And, of course, one of the more iconic cards from the 1990 tops, the Frank Thomas rookie, the 90 score rookie. Cards actually look really good. The, the top loaders are a little yellowed, and it's all good. So then we also have Donner's Optic Thomases, 92 Leafs, Tops, 94. And we've got, you know, some of the, um, some more Thomas cards, Silhouettes. This is actually out of the 2020 set, Decades Best, some Upper Decks. More Thomases, Opeechee, 91, Tops, Donruss, um, the Prism, I believe that's uh, 2019, numbered 30 out of 299, so that's a, a parallel, and the, the 94 Ultra All-Star Team, Thomas. Then we also have some Yadiers, more Thomases, Maguires, Tops Minis, always fun cards. So, those were those. And the last one we have, this box is just is way too big to, to put on the screen. So I'm just going to pull out a few of the, the items that were in here. Um, this comes from everybody's favorite, everybody, everybody's guy, Mr. John Jabs, past is alive. Um, I bought into his 82 tops break and everybody knows John, he always throws in extras. So one of the things that he threw in that I did not have was the 80, was the 1999 tops action flats, um, as everybody knows, you know, I'm a McGuire guy and I collect all of these little oddities and stuff like that. So, and considering his cards in the checklist, got to get it. He also sent me a 1993 Frank Thomas starting lineup with the special series, the sluggers included card. So that will, uh, that will go in the Thomas PC. Um, he also sent me a few uh, nine card sleeves, which I appreciate because, as everybody knows, I put all of my sets and stuff into into to binders, so I'm always needing sheets. And then last will be the eighty two tops break that. I was I got into I won't go through them all um, but you know obviously he sleeves all of the Hall of Famers and guys like Rod Carew Robin Yount Dave Rigetti Bruce Suter and then you know obviously John always throws in extras you know Frank Thomas Diamond Mind um, this was actually a card that he pulled out of I believe it was a Fairfield box or something like that a a UD3 Upper Deck Mark McGuire Home Run Heroes. Did not have this one. So, another great addition to the PC. And then we got just more 82 tops. There's the Nolan Ryan Pitching Leaders. And then the little stickers. So, well guys, that's going to do it for this video like i said i just wanted to do a quick video highlighting my stuff i picked up at the shows some some mail that i got in um obviously every as you guys know i love doing trades you know let me know who you guys pc what you need and we'll see what we can pull out so till next time guys later